We begin this morning by just saying, good morning, Lord. Thank you for the gift of another wonderful day. And as we enter into his presence this morning, let's just take a deep breath and relax. Just spend a moment just thanking God for your blessings and even for your trials. For they have worked miracles in your life. They've brought you to a place that you probably never would have been had it not been for the things that you've gone through in your life. One of the things that trouble us sometimes so much in life is when we get discouraged. Discouragement is a major weapon of the enemy that tries to slow our progress in life. One day you can be happy and joyful and so productive and really feel close to the Lord. And then it seems like you wake up the next day and you feel discouraged. You feel defeated. You feel like nothing you do is making a difference or those type of things are designed to hinder us from doing the things that God really needs us to do and just enjoying life in general. Discouragement often comes when we feel like we're not appreciated or that people aren't valuing what we do as a person. We get discouraged. We often look at outward success and gauge whether or not something is successful that we're doing based on what happens on the outside. But God says your greatest success and your greatest value comes from knowing why you're doing what you're doing more than who you're doing it for. In Colossians chapter 3, verse 23 and 24, listen to what God's Word says this morning. Whatsoever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord, not unto men. Knowing that of the Lord you shall receive the reward of the inheritance, for you serve the Lord Christ. I want you to be encouraged today that whatever you're doing, even if no one else seems to appreciate it, God does. He sees it and He rewards it. I know about discouragement in life. I've had to be encouraged many times through the Word of God. And I know as pastors and Sunday school teachers and those who spend time with the Lord and and try to hear His voice and prepare messages or prepare lessons. And then you you get there to prepare it and it seems like, you know, nobody, nobody shows up or it's a low crowd or those types of things. People get discouraged. But the Lord often reminds me, you're not doing it for people. You're doing it for me. Even as we do morning moments with Jesus this morning, there is absolutely no guarantee that anybody's even listening. But God's listening. And it's the same way with whatever He's called you to do. Whatever He asks you to do today, do not do it worried about how many people are going to appreciate it. Do it because God has called you to it. He's asked you to do it. And He is the one who will reward you for it. Be encouraged. Whatever you do, do it as though you're doing it for the Lord, not for people. People will get a better blessing out of it you will get a better blessing out of it. 
and the Lord will be glorified for it. So I pray today that you take a little time to just spend a little time with Jesus. I pray that whatever you have to do today, you will do it with joy, knowing you are fulfilling God's plan. And even if it's just for one person, God will bless it. And God will reward it because you were faithful. Be encouraged today. Be safe. Be strong and be blessed. Do not be discouraged. Be encouraged in Christ Jesus. Lord's will, we'll see you back here again tomorrow. Until then, you have a blessed day.